Hi, Sarno with Wave of Recipes, and today I'm going to cook up a steak in the Breville Combi Wave 3 in 1. And we're going to see how this does a steak right now. All right, so I've got myself here one ribeye steak. It weighs, I've weighed it at 14 ounces, so it's just under a pound, about a pound of meat, close enough to a pound. And I've got some Grillmates Montreal steak seasoning. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to basically just put some seasoning over both sides of the meat. I'm going to flip that now. And going to get some on this other side. Just season it up good. We'll just roll with it like that. Now I'm going to put this on into the Breville Combi Wave 3 and 1. And I've got the legs down, you know, so that the legs are standing up. And I'm going to show you here, I'm going to go into the food menu, click the food menu button, and click into cook. Then scroll all the way down to meat. And now that I'm at meat, I'm going to click in there. It gives me basically a option to pick the weight. I'm going up to a uh, one pound to, I'll go with the 16 ounces. I could go with 12, but I'll go with the full pound. And basically it's telling me to use the pan legs. If I went over a pound, it takes away the use pan legs option. It just says use the pan. Basically it uses different options depending on the weight. Anything a pound or less, it's going to use the microwave and the grill functions. Anything over a pound, it's going to use the convection oven and the grill instead of the microwave and the grill. I'm going to go with one pound and going with it using the microwave and the grill. And so just going to uh, press in here on start. And basically it's showing me 15 minutes cooking time using the microwave and the grill. And this is interesting that it's using a combination of the microwave and grill with the pan that has the metal legs out. You know, there, you know, cases where you can use things like metal in certain cookers at certain times. I only do it when the cooker says that it's okay. You know, the cooker here tells you when to use the legs and when not. I only use them when it says it's good to use them. But gonna let this cook and bring you back in a bit. All right, things just made a chime, so that's a good time to flip. It lets you know to flip, so I take the recommended advice here since it's a steak, and we're halfway through. We see what we got. Not much so far. We're going to flip it. That side's getting cooked, though, so I'm going to put it on back in and hit start. I'll bring you back when this thing is done. All right, we're about to end and going to get on in here now. 15 minutes of cooking with a combination of microwave and grill. And let's see our meat temperature. It's at 109. We're, we're not even rare. We're not even there with rare. But this is what I want to do at this point anyway. I want to hit the grill function. I'm going to hit grill and close up and let it run for 10 minutes on the grill and I'll bring you back after that grill has run on it for 10 minutes we'll see if we can get some searing on there all right we're done with 10 minutes on the grill we'll see what that made of this Now our temperature is at 155, which is kind of on the cusp of well done. And that's more my speed as far as the cooking temperature. We didn't get much of a sear on this side, but let's check the opposite side. We'll see if we got any sear over there. Uh, not really any sear on either side. But we did get a fully cooked steak, although we had to add like 10 minutes of grill time to it. 
Now I'm going to basically give this a cut. We'll see how it looks inside. I could give it time to rest and wait, but I'm going to go right in now. We see we've got basically like a medium well look. That's pretty nice. So I'm just going to slice a piece off here and just cut that in half for taste test purposes. And I'll get the camera moved and we'll do a taste test. All right, so here's our ribeye steak. Let's taste. All right, so perfectly moist steak, very moist, tender ribeye steak. The steak is great as far as the tenderness, the juiciness, the temperature, after it took the extra time to cook. Came out great, but, you know, it did need more time than its prescribed time. You know, it said for a pound of meat, and this was only 14 ounces, I cooked it as a pound of meat, and it wasn't even rare, it wasn't even rare you know, after the 15 minutes of it using its combination of grill and microwave features. And put 10 minutes on the grill feature with it, didn't really get a sear. So that's basically what you get from the Brevo Combi Way, but all the same, it can cook up your steak, and the steak is tasting good. So you'll be able to find this, other recipes, heating instructions, at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You always come to this YouTube channel by going to WaveOvenRecipes.com. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at WaveOvenRecipes. And you can find links for other cookers if you want to refer, you know, buy something on referral from me. Pay the same price for another cooker and help this channel. They're in the video description. Also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. I'm looking forward to your comments. Also, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and good eating.